Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West. More specifically, today we are in Newport, Oregon. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of Ripley's, believe it or not, World of Adventure. This is a combination of a Ripley's and a wax museum. Now, I visited here years ago when I was traveling around the country trying to visit every single Ripley's, believe it or not, in the United States. I drove out here to Newport, Oregon and filmed uh, the Ripley's, believe it or not, here in Newport. However, they have uh, completely remodeled since then. When I visited a few years ago, it was it had been a very long time since it had been renovated. It was almost like a time capsule of what Ripley's used to look like. And they also had a wax uh, museum here in the same area that was just called the Wax Works. But uh, since then, they've completely renovated the Ripley's. They have uh, rebranded the Wax Works to the Louis Tussauds Wax Museum, which is the uh, wax museum chain owned by Ripley's. Looks like they've combined it to, a, to an attraction, two attractions under one roof, known as the Ripley's, believe it or not, world of adventure. So I'm excited to check out and see how things have changed here in Newport, Oregon. So please, follow me. You can see the octopus bench here. Some sort of octo bench. You can see the big, metally incredible Hulk right there. At a lot of Ripley's you will see these giant beasts made of shredded tires. I know recently we saw a mammoth made of shredded tires, the San Francisco Ripley's. Here we have a giant, mean gorilla. So here along the Pacific Coast, they have one thing, and that is giant trees. You can see this giant sequoia tree that has been sliced behind me. See how big it is? Real big. We have some sneak peeks in the window here. What is this? Oh, it is the, it is the, the, uh, the viral blue and black dress. So yeah, viral sensation blue or black and blue dress. And uh, I don't know. I feel like it's been. I don't know how many people remember this dress. It was it was the craziest thing. I remember everyone it was the only thing anyone was talking about. So you can see on the sign back there, different people registered the dress as being either gold and blue or black and a different shade of blue. Right now, I'm seeing black and blue. Uh, what color uh, do you guys see? In this window, we have some toilet paper art. We see Homer Simpson there, made out of crumbled toilet paper. Here's the entrance to the Ripley's Believe It or Not. See our tour guide, Mr. J.T. Sailor, the Gurner, famous for being able to swallow his own nose. So yeah, a complete new rehaul here. So we enter through the office of Mr. Robert Ripley here. You can see Ripley's travels here, all the different locations he's been to. So he's traveled to 200 different countries. And this is an interesting fact. I did not know. Robert Ripley did not fly. He traveled by boat to all these different countries. And there is a picture of Robert Ripley on his personal boat, the Mon Lee. Some items here behind Ripley in his cabinets. You see the Tibetan skull bowl there. It's a wooden arrow put through a bottle and an elephant bell. I guess that elephant will wear the jingly bell around his neck. You can see this bouquet of flowers here made out of fish scales. Some strange mail here. Now Ripley's has had contests to encourage people to send the strangest mailable objects. You can see someone put the address here on a traffic cone and mailed that. Someone somehow mailed a bowl of cereal. I don't even know how that's possible. Oh, it looks like the Milk has gone a little bad there. There's a mannequin hand that's gone through the mail. A replica of a dinosaur skull. A bowling ball. Imagine the postage you would have to pay on mailing an actual bowling ball. It's a ukulele, a diaper there. There is a scream plushie, a giant boxing glove. There's a coconut there. I've actually sent a, uh, a coconut through the mail. 
believe it or not. And there is a keyboard that someone has. I see addressed it like a giant letter, the return address up there, mailing address down there. This here is Masaki Ichi. It's a man that was diagnosed with a terminal disease. So he decided to leave a complete replica of himself behind. So he got all these mirrors. You can see the mirrors all around him so you can see every inch of his body using the hand mirror there as well. And he, out of wood, constructed a perfect replica of himself, even using his own hairs, eyelashes, fingernails, so that he would leave a perfect replica behind. This is a nice little painting of the Statue of Liberty, but what makes it even more interesting is this was actually painted while the artist was swimming in the East River. His, his skill is that he can paint pictures while swimming. Then we have some burnt, <clears throat> then we have some burnt toast art there. This bookshelf here, you can see some heads put in jars. That looks like, looks like that may have been Ben Franklin at one point, but I guess this is a photo op. We can actually put our heads in these empty jars. Oh, this is really creepy. I just noticed this is a copy of the Necronomicon over here that has a moving eye. Oh, that's spooky. Can you touch the jewel? We'll see here. Okay, we got a colorful face. There is a jewel floating in the mouth. Let's see if we can grab it. Three jewels for all. Oh, jeez. Got me. The jade ship right there. Also a collection of puppets hanging from the ceiling. Some dryer lint art here. Especially delicious looking is this dryer lint sushi. By decree, all Ripley's must have at least one shrunken head. See, they've actually got three here. It's a nice looking uh, shrunken head there. See. There. You can see the feathers that adorn the heads. It's always good to uh, add little pieces of flair to your head shrinkings. Here's Audrey Hepburn made out of New Mexico license plates. And there's our friend Zoltar. We of course cannot deprive him of his dollar. Do that dollar in there, okay. Zoltar the Great Gypsy is here to give you ancient wisdom for your happiness. Pay attention now. Men of genius are admired. Men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared, but only men of character are trusted. And you know, it never hurts to bribe your friends on sometimes. For example, give me a bit more cash and I will give you your fortune. Some fancy fashion here. Got a, a dress made out of stamps. This pink dress here is made out of post-it notes. And then we have a really sweet button suit, completely coated in uh, buttons. This dress here is made out of foam installation. Well, this dress here, a wedding dress made out of toilet paper. And then a silverware dress. This looks like about possibly the least comfortable of all the dresses. Actually made out of pointy forks, spoons, and then the, uh, the bra section apparently looks like uh, giant ladles. A lounge here full of Ripley's characters over here. Can uh, belly up to the bar, and uh, the bartender here is Avelino Perez, the Cuban eye popper. Actually, behind the bar here, some of these beer steins are said to have been part of Robert Ripley's uh, personal collection. With the Mexican vampire woman there, hanging in this cage, is Alipius, a 17-inch tall Egyptian man who was found guilty of treason and sentenced to life in a birdcage. You can see right here, 
This dummy is wearing James Dean's chaps. Says he wore these while filming the movie Giant. See a KN long necked woman there with the ornamental necklace that appeared to make her neck elongated. This is Francisco Lentini, the three legged man. Apparently he was a soccer player, which um, is interesting. I don't know how much of an actual advantage that would give you during soccer. I guess it would give you an advantage because you could stand flat footed while kicking a ball. You could dribble and kick at the same time. I don't know, leave a comment in the comment section on whether you think having three legs would be an advantage while playing soccer. And here we can take a seat with King of the Sideshow, Johnny Eck. There's a massive piece of toaster art. Every single one of those squares is a piece of burnt toast. There's some beautiful African fantasy coffins. Someone would actually be buried in that, buried in a giant lobster or an eagle. And given the choice, I would pick the lobster. This is a very sizable hair reef there. Here we have very tall man, Mr. Robert Wadlow, with a very small man, General Tom Thumb there, dressed in his Civil War uniform. Oh wait, Wadlow is moving. Oh look at that, standing up and proving his height. Eight feet, 11 inches. What's this? This trunk here, it's this danger. It's covered in skulls, but somehow I have a, I have a, uh, I have a, a compulsion to, 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 to open it. Let's, let's see what. Oh. It's full of, full of screams. This phone, this phone is ringing here. Let's see what, what they have to say. That is an interesting fact. Entering into the hull of a ship here. Up here in front of the ship, we have Wang, the human unicorn. The sign here asks us, can you sail this ship? I can certainly try. We got the, the ship's wheel. Oh, jeez. It was, it was just a trap. It's just a trap door. It was just, you know, there's no sailing the ship. You just, you go up here to turn the wheel and, oh. It, it, it startles you. It's a jump scare. Oh, you got me, Wang. In this picnic basket, we have a dagger made from a human thigh bone. So we exit the ship area. We head into the Freaks of Nature section. And some marvelous freaks they do have. There is a skeleton of a two-headed calf. Down here we have the taxidermied version of the two-headed calf. It's got a new form of taxidermy where they just blow up an animal's head like a balloon. We see a cow head that's been inflated. This is an elephant foot that has ten toes. Apparently an elephant normally has five toes like we do. This one has ten. I guess it goes almost all the way around. And then this is an elephant foot that has been turned into a shield to where someone slipped their arm under it. I guess the elephant's foot was so sturdy it could be used as a shield. You see there we have a seven-legged lamb. It's still very adorable. Little toad over there in the corner. And a two-headed goldfinch. Goldfinch, which is a bird. And this is pretty unique. We have a six-legged zebra right there. I don't know that I've ever seen a six-legged zebra. You see a painting on a moth of both Kennedy and Lincoln. Does anyone remember the list that used to go around about the strange coincidences between their two deaths? There's a picture of Chola the painting horse, and there is a painting painted by Chola the painting horse. That is some good horse artwork right there. See the tiger here, made of all different pieces of plastic. If you look closely, you can see there's pandas right there, a lot of buttons. 
in the tiger's face. It's all these little plastic toys. The zebra's right there. A statue of Hank Aaron made out of Oh Henry candy bar wrappers. And I have an angel here made from toys. It's the angel pointing to heaven. But you look closely at the face. All sorts of interesting things. Composed of some sort of some sort of calculator right there. It's got some guns built in to its chest. I think that's a pterodactyl. When I'm in beach towns, I always like to stop at the local gift shops and look at all the the, the clam people, the, the artwork made out of clam shells, but this is a giant life-sized shell lady. Here are barbecue sauce portraits, and we see they're all characters from The Walking Dead. And see, there's Glenn, Maggie, Negan, and let's not ignore the fact that there is a giant five-legged alligator in front of the barbecue painting. See, it's got two feet there on one one leg. S some aquatic entities here. You have this uh, albino blue marlin, which is a kind of a brilliant looking fish. Here is a devil-faced fish that looks like a devil. And then there is a crucifix fish that looks like a crucifix that kind of balance each other out. I do like this art here of a cockroach surfing. It's a 14 foot albino cobra there. That's pretty terrifying. It's the big giant bottom dwelling catfish there. And then we have a shark with green eyes, like a doll's eyes. We've got this stack of boxes for kids to run through. But we have some interesting machines here as well as we turn the crank here and what happens oh there okay I, I, it was like a, a giant tooth that came up down here we see a giant piranha a human toe on the end of a fish hook and a crank there that we turn oh there we go turn the crank and the piranha goes to eat the toe. Nom, 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 nom. What's in this book right here? Oh, it's a tooth of some sort. Oh, it's a sperm whale tooth. In this box, we have the beetles. So we gotta hit this button. And there, and there they are. The, the beetles, I guess they're the band beetles made out of giant beetles. The painted potato chips there, but it looks like they're facing the wrong way. I think this button here is just gonna turn them around. Okay, you can see the painted potato chips rotating there. Some art on Pringles. There's Starry Night there made of duct tape, and then M&M made of M&Ms. This box has shrunken animal heads. Turn the crank there. Oh, look at this, a music box. With the little animal heads have been shrunk and popping up. That's amazing. A taxidermied fox head there, wearing like a Victorian hat. And then down there, a cardigan made of dog hair, guaranteed to be really smelly if you go out in the rain. This is, looks like a ship in a bottle on top of a log. You push the button down here. Oh, things get stormy. Right, it's just confusing. What, what exactly is this? Every time I go to a Ripley's, I become thankful that I'm not Rodney Fox. Model of the Titanic there, made of matchsticks and a little piece of coal from the Titanic. And here we have our Fiji mermaid here in Newport. Always love seeing the different Fiji mermaids they have at the different Ripley's. This is a large one. I love his, his sharp claws and his fearsome teeth. And in to the space room. Some crazy spacesuits hanging there. 
Here we have Wall-E, made from car parts. Here's a Cosmonaut survival pack. I don't know if I'd be able to survive. I wouldn't know what was what, because it's all in Russian. These are all baseballs, signed by astronauts. See, it's signed by Buzz Aldrin there. I don't know why, uh, why you were, when you would want an astronaut's signature, if you would ask him to sign a baseball, I guess maybe just moon rocks are harder to come by, so you just go with baseballs. And here in the space room of Ripley's, we have a space rabbit. See the space rabbit there in his little rabbit space suit. Have a shooting gallery here. Looks like a little uh, shack here on the pier. All right, let's uh, get to shooting. Oh, see the Gurning Man popped up there in the window. Oh, shot the oil can. Oh, made that spin there. Oh, the crab pop out down there. Oh, you can make that crab dance. Here's a phrenology machine. This will be used to detect the bumps in your skull in order to determine your personality. We have a crochet, a dermy bear. So it would be like the form for a taxidermy bear, but instead of bear skin, be covered in crocheted fur. So we got a four horned sheep up above. It's a sad story of an Alaskan moose who stuck his head in a window in order to get some food. We got his antler stuck in the house and froze to death. We have a model of the Oregon Vortex in here, a mystery house here in Oregon. I've actually not been to this one. They don't allow filming at their mystery house, so I've not been able to document it. But uh, yeah, a replica of the Oregon Vortex. A little bear there on the roof, so we could peek in. And uh, they have some uh, black light paintings in here. And here's an exact replica of Mill Ends Park. This is the smallest park in the country, in Portland, and I didn't get a chance to go over there, but uh, this it looks, looks exactly like this. It's just like one tree in a potter. Mill Ends Park. You can see the ram horns there, stuck in that stump. And a couple dinosaur eggs there as well. All right, I think we exit through this direction. Oh, this is one of the vintage, vintage photo takers from Ripley's. Is that, you know, oh, see another picture of I me. Mean, there used to be an elderly couple that were taking a photo of each other. It was placed in a lot of modern Ripley's with a uh, younger couple. But here we have the uh, the husband, although the wife, I don't know, the wife is not here. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry about your wife. So we walk through this room here. Oh, it's like a infinity room where it looks like there's a bottomless drop. Put your head this way. So exit through the gift shop here. See the statue of Acro Brit, who can actually fire a bow and arrow with her legs. And some local crafts here. We have uh, Shrunken Heads. Says these are the. This is the world exclusive. This is the only store in the world that you can buy these. At these squishy Shrunken Heads, and then these ones are bottle openers. Now over here, you'll enter the Louis Tussauds. Wax works. So we're greeted over here by the rock. So we enter this hallway. We have some life masks, different celebrities Elon Musk, Justin Timberlake, Serena Williams, Tiger Woods. Some screams coming down from this hall. Maybe some scary things in here. So we pass Iron Man here and see the guardians of. Newport, the Guardians of Newport, not the Galaxy. They are now just guarding Newport, Oregon. There's the Star Lord, Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. You can see Johnny Knoxville there grimacing in pain because almost every one of his fingers is currently being crushed by a mousetrap. No, oh, he is not enjoying it. You see Marilyn here, and oh, fan just clicked on. We get her, see her reenact her famous scene where her dress was blown up from the sewer grate. A 
over here we have Old Sheldon. You can see the ever popular Beyonce there with her red boa. As we walk into this dark, spooky alley, we are surrounded by superheroes and super villains. We've got Batman over here with the penguin. You can see the driver of this old truck here. There's a yellow suited gangster there in the back seat. In front of the shop here, we have Mjör Norge, the, uh, the hammer of Thor. Spider-Man hanging there from the ceiling. And we got Arnie. Arnie ready to terminate somebody. Outside this flickering neon hotel sign of Captain America and the Hulk reaching a single hulky arm out from the brick wall. It's a bat signal up there as well. As we head past Wonder Woman, continuing down the alley, step into the office of the president. Folks, dark time <laughs> entering piratey scene here Let's see the different pirates in here oh some very spooky pirates oh see the cannons actually fire here oh there goes that cannon and there's a very happy Captain Jack Sparrow celebrating with his $50 million. And here we have Ole Vander's wand shop. As we enter the Harry Potter section, we see Dolby, the house elf. But look what's going on behind him. There's a massive showdown between Voldemort and Harry Potter blasting each other with that are magic wands, very epic scene right here. See the Hogwarts Express there coming out of the wall. There's the sorting hat. It says, which Hogwarts house do you belong to? Let's find out. Hmm. So where should I put you? Go difficult. Difficult? You're coming in it and a nice thirst to prove yourself. It's all here in your head. Better be Slytherin! Slytherin, no! I don't wanna I don't wanna be in Slytherin. They're 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 wizard Nazis. There's platform nine and three fourths where you can push your luggage cart straight through the brick wall to go to the world of wizards. Here we have the voice of Newport, like the television show, The Voice. It's like we got Taylor Swift there performing and you can sit in this chair and judge her. This is terrible. Just kidding, it's pretty good. Now we enter the Oregon forest. You can see these lumberjacks here hard at work, chopping down trees and providing our lumber needs so the two lumberjacks here working together to saw down that big tree with the big double person saw. And the king of the Oregon forest, Mr. Sasquatch, AKA Bigfoot, the mighty gentle ape of the forest. It says, how big are your feet compared to Bigfoot? Yeah. How much bigger feet than me? He would require some pretty massive Crocs. If you look back there in the woods, you have D.B. Cooper, the legendary hijacker. He hijacked an airplane, made it land, requested a large amount of money, which he put in a bag, requested parachutes, made the plane take back off, where he jumped out of the plane with the parachute, with the money, and was never seen or heard from again. No one's ever been able to to uh, figure out who exactly was 
D.B. Cooper's. Let's walk here through the woods and take a look. Oh my gosh, he vanished. All that's left is his parachute and a few pieces of the money from his big haul. And we have the living room of the Byers family. See, Joyce Byers, played by Winona Ryder in Stranger Things. She communicated with her son, Will Byers, through these Christmas lights on the wall. Where are you? Watch out for Demi Gloria. All right, enter if you dare. We're about to enter the spooky section of the Wax Museum, and I do dare. Oh, this is really cool in here. You can see the alligator lurking in the swamp here. Oh, there's Freddy. Freddy Krueger over here. We continue over the bridge. Oh, the actual wobbly bridge here. Oh, there's there's Golem and oh no, there is uh, Reagan from The Exorcist. Looks like oh there there she goes. There she goes. Her head spinning. Oh, what a creepy little girl. Oh, there it goes again. Oh. Oh, it goes the other way. Oh, so spooky. The face of like a big idol right here. And then it says, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. We've got Jason Voorhees. Oh, what is that? What even is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Here to the Grim Reaper himself in his cavern of skulls through here. Oh jeez, pressed air. Oh, what's that? It's an impaled zombie. Oh, some spikes here coming at us. Oh, what's going on down there? It's Chucky. Cool light orb here. What's so funny, Chucky? It's a super spooky skeleton right there. Oh, what is going on? It's a man holding his own head. Now we head through the vortex tunnel here. We are being completely disorientated. Well, there we see Golem again, bathing in this green fountain. Oh, here we have Frankenstein's lab in here. Oh, there's a... Oh, no! The mummy. It's the animatronic mummy in Frankenstein's lab there. Oh, just look at this laboratory. Up there, there's the Wolfman looking down on the lab. Of course, the Frankenstein slash Frankenstein's monster there on the table. And then even Dracula. Dracula lurking around. He's got a, what has he got in his hand? Some sort of bottle. There's he helping with the experiments. Oh. It looks like we're entering the Star Wars section. We have Yoda there. I don't know if we must be on Dagobah, I believe. Oh, you see the little, the, the monster with the one-eyed monster there coming out of the, the water. There's some Jawas here living in the trees. Enter this spaceship here. Oh, in this tube, we have Darth Maul. And look at this scene here. You can see Princess Leia talking to R2-D2. We've got Darth Vader battling Luke in front of the Emperor. Then we got the AT-AT there. There's some Ewoks flying through the sky on gliders. Looks like we can activate certain things in the scenes. 
with these buttons. We'll start with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. We'll see what happens when we hit this button. Oh, you see their lightsabers light up. It says this works the energy cannon. Oh yeah. You fire the cannon here on the AT AT or at at. Looks like this button here will make the Ewok flap its wings. to see you here, E.T. Oh, his finger. His finger lights up. It's really cool. Unfortunately, Han Solo could not join us. He was frozen in carbonite. As we say goodbye to the sand person here, we exit the wax museum. So thank you for joining me here today at Ripley's, believe it or not, World of Adventure. I'm so happy to be back here, and they've done a wonderful job. I was a little worried about, about them refurbishing things, because I, I did love how it was kind of a Ripley's Frozen in Time, but they did keep some of the, the classic things, as well as adding some new and very, very interesting things as well. The Wax Museum still has the same charm. I especially love the exhibit on D.B. Cooper and the Sasquatch there. One of the, one of the coolest Sasquatches here at, uh, at Ripley's, believe it or not, World of Adventure. So two attractions worth visiting here in Newport, Oregon. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you like these videos, consider subscribing. I travel around the United States filming roadside attractions, amuse, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. I've been to the 48 continental United States and continue to travel. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, five different enamel pins now for sale in the Etsy shop. All that information is in the description of this video, and all that goes to help keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.